Hey, what's happening, guys? We got another opening video. I hope you guys like these. Let me know if you do or not. Anyway, the first one is from a company, a corporate gift, as it were. This is from Elecro, and this is the Arduino Automatic Smart Plant Watering Kit. This is really a nice kit. Let's take a look at what's inside here. So in this bag, we have the moisture sensors and some long extension cabling. Here we have got a lot of quarter inch, feels like silicon hose for our water. This is bigger, this is about 3 8 inch. We have a manifold. In here we have the pump. Which, if I am not mistaken, oh, nice rubber soft mounts. That's a nice touch for vibration there. I'm thinking this is a peristaltic pump. Moisture sensor, crow tail, water pump. Doesn't say. I don't want to take it apart. Because it may never work again. But it does have an in and an out. From the way it's looking, I'm thinking it's. I can't tell for sure. And then here is the uh, the brains Jeez. of the system as it were. And this is heavy, heavy duty. These are our solenoid valves. Four of them. I guess this is really the brains of the system. This is the Elecro. Crotail Smart Pump Shield. Damn man. Damn man. Oh yeah, take a look at that. So this is our Arduino with a real-time clock. An OLED, nice big OLED. Uh, one, two, three, four, five relays on board. There are the uh, JST ports for each of those relays. There's a uh, larger port for that uh, switch center. Uses a USB micro takes onboard power there. Okay, there you go. Pump. A3, A2, A1, A0. Wow. That is a really nice kit for somebody who is not me. I can't grow plants. I kill plants. So, I'm going to give it away to one of you. If you you know the you know the way I do it. If you are in the US, I'll pay the freight. If you're outside the US, you're picking it up because it is ungodly expensive to ship stuff outside the USS. US the USS outside the US thanks to our uh, postal system. So if you want it, leave me a note down below. Just tell me you want it. And uh, we'll give it away. Today is, uh, what is it? Today is April 16th, 2019. I'll tell you, what, we'll give it away on my dad's birthday, April the 28th. So you got till then 
to get in. Oh, had that out of the box. It also comes with an AC adapter, 12 volt, 2 amp. Very nice. Thanks, Elecro. Okay, first up, we've got a selection of 4000 series CMOS chips. Which is taped incredibly well. So there you can see what we got. 40, 51 through 53, 60, 66, 60, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Very nice. Thanks to Michael. Now this one I bought myself, and it is from um, Arrow. If you guys never used Arrow, this is what was in the shipping box, wrapped in a lot of packing paper. So we've got a anti-static bag. Inside of that. We've got the box also sealed. And inside of that we have the IC that I purchased. So what makes this so spectacular? Well, that was a lot of packing and shipping work for a single $6 IC. So if they'll do that for my $6 order, imagine what they'll do for a multi-thousand dollar order. Okay, next up, Mixoa test leads and kit. I saw this on another YouTube channel, Kiss Analog. I thought I would check it out. So you see here we got some gold plated contacts. Have our standard multimeter leads here it's rated 10 amp nice feeling we'll check them out later but what drew me to the kit were the accessories that come with it very nice like these tweezers for measuring in circuit some Kelvin style clips these feel very nice the home lobotomy kit no. these are for piercing insulation not sure about that one some sort of a coupler perhaps So we got, okay, one set of Kelvin, one set of piercer, and the uh, these little tiny mini grabbers. So this is a very nice looking kit, and I look forward to reviewing it and playing with that in the future. Also from Michael W., who is a Pennsylvanian, I believe he's trapped in Oklahoma. I hear the wind comes right behind the rain, or sweeping down the plain, or something along those lines in Oklahoma. I've never been there. I hear it's flat. we got here are a selection of polyester film caps you can see from the box lid there we got 0.22 nano to 470 nano very low value good for high frequency work good up to 100 volts 
Now, a couple things I've already had out of the box. These are op amps, LM358. These are the N version, which are the single supply version. And they also, I believe, feature a high slew rate. Yeah. One megahertz. These are from Senor Anonymous. Also from Senor Anonymous, some CD4017B ICs. Well, it'd be nice if you could see them. So, yeah, that's some good stuff there. Finally, a late arrival. This is also something by Michael, I believe. Excuse me. Two Kester 951 flux pens. And I think I think they had to send these bad boys uh hazmat. Danger read data safety sheet. Highly flammable liquid and vapor, toxic if inhaled, causes serious eye irritation, may cause damage to organs, may cause drowsiness or dizziness. Hell yeah. Keep away from heat, sparks, open flames, hot surfaces, do not smoking. Do not breathe dust, fume, gas, vapors, or spray. Wear protective gloves, protective clothing, eye protection. May cause uneven tire wear and gas mileage. What? If inhaled, remove person to fresh air. If in eyes, rinse cautiously with water. Emergency telephone, 703-527-3887. Uh, it's 10 milliliters, sold in cartons of 20 pens, part number 831, quadruple zero, 951. Right on. Thank you, Michael. Very nice to have some flux pens. And that's going to do it for this opening video. Thank each one of you guys who sent stuff in. I, I'm blown away at you guys think of me and do stuff like that. Um, so cool. Let's me know you care. All right, this is probably going to be the last video before Easter, so if you are one who celebrates Easter, then happy Easter to you. If you do not celebrate Easter, then uh, I will see you next week. That's it. I'm out. Peace.